on Horseland, Aztec runs away and discovers that the wild can be a dangerous and terrifying place. What if we never find him? What if he gets hurt? Come and join us. It's dinner time here at Horseland. Yeah! <laughs> Your smells better. Mm. I got leftover Texas Five Star Chili. Oh, come on, Chef. Just one bite. You've got your own food, Angara. Mine's not as good. <laughs> Angora, how rude. You splash food all over me. <laughs> Just like Angora here, a lot of folks wish they had what others have. Who's ever heard of chili made with tofu? Angora just found out that the grass isn't always greener on the other side of the fence. That's the same lesson Aztec learned, and Sarah too, although it took them a little longer to find out. Pretty good on the piafs, Aztec. Now let's try some lateral movements. Cantering pirouette. Not bad. Let's do some flying changes. Not bad. But we can do better. Come on, boy! Our baby and Aztec still at it. They've been at it since early this morning. See the way Aztec's tossing his head? It looks to me like he's definitely had enough. He looks tired and hungry. Hey, speaking of hunger, I think it is lunchtime! I'm starving! You certainly worked up an appetite. Just be careful you don't overdo it, Aztec. Hey, I worked hard today. Oh, dressage is easy compared to walking fences on the ranch. But at least on the ranch, you're out in the open. Not stuck in some arena. It's not the hours I mind. Just being pinned in. Man, I would love to run free. Think about it. Be your own boss. Do your own thing. Set your own hours. Nobody works longer hours than Sarah. She's been here since early morning. Helping Will gentle that wild Mustang they brought in yesterday. Sarah loves it here. I wonder if that Mustang loves it here too. After being his own master all of his life. Hey, boy. It's okay. Shh. It's okay, boy. It's okay. My fault. I moved too fast. Spooked him. He still seems pretty wild to me. Nah. The rangers who brought him in from the range already had him mostly gentled. He just doesn't know us yet. Do you, boy? <laughs> or maybe he's still pretty wild. Hey! Hi! Haven't you and Aztec practiced enough today? Nope, not till we're perfect. What's Will doing now? Trying to get the Mustang comfortable around him. Will thinks we can get him saddle ready in a day or two. Wow. boy. Where'd you learn how to gentle a horse? Last summer, when I stayed at Uncle Jim's ranch. He taught me. 
Where did this fella come from? There's lots of wild horses on government land outside of town. Too many for the amount of grazing land. That's why this guy's so thin. You were hungry out there, weren't you, boy? So every now and then, they'll bring a young horse in, tame it, and find it a good home. This one's already been human weight trained by the rangers. How do they do that? They put sacks of grain on his back to get him used to carrying the weight of a rider. He sure is beautiful. Look at his markings. Sorry. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Hey, Bale. Want to help me bring over some hay and water? Sure. Is it okay if I leave Aztec tethered here? Oh, yeah. They'll enjoy each other's company. Okay. See you in a minute. Wow. What is it? I've got an interview at the Stanhope Academy. That's only, like, the most exclusive riding school around. Did you apply there? They saw my last competition and called my folks. Way to go, Sarah. Too cool. Excited? Yeah. I am. I mean, Stan Hope Academy. It's everyone's dream. There's my mom. Gotta go. Wish me luck. You bet. Whoa. I'm really glad for Sarah. But I'd really miss her if she left. Yeah, me too. Want to go get that hay? Sure. So what's your name? Puma. <clears throat> Hey, this is not bad. They call me Aztec. So what's it like out there? It's nice. Graze wherever, whenever you want on wild oats and tall grasses. None of the store-bought feed. Although I gotta admit, it's actually pretty good. So where do you sleep? In a different canyon every night, underneath a starry sky. Nobody tells you where to go or what to do. Except the boss horse, of course. I've got a boss here, too. He's just not a horse. Lately, he's been working me pretty hard. Nobody makes you work out there. You're free to run, to go wherever you want, whenever you want. On the other hand, you don't get oats like these. Free to run wherever I want? I wonder what that's like. It's a great feeling. Wind in your mane all the time. Freedom. Freedom. It's all I think about. You could have it, too, if... Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have my freedom. Thank you, Puma! You sure have been working Aztec hard lately. I know, but I just feel like we're stuck in our training. I know we can get better if we keep at it. Just remember, there's a limit to how hard you should work a horse. You're a team. You're not his boss. Oh my gosh! Aztec's gone! He must have gotten loose! But he's never wandered off before! Aztec! Where are you? Aztec! So this is it! Stanhope Academy! Wow! Wow! Woohoo! I'm free! Free to do what I want! I'm free! I can't find him anywhere! Me neither! And it's getting dark. I'm sure he hasn't gone far. I bet he'll come wandering back as soon as he gets cold. And wet. All right. Free to freeze. Never thought I'd miss that nice warm stall of mine. <laughs> what was th th that? Oh, be quiet. Can a guy get some sleep around here? Wait! Come back! I could use the company. Why would Aztec run away? Doesn't make any sense. Ooh. Who knows 
those fly horses do anything? Face it. Cats are the only intelligent animals. Actually, pigs are smarter than cats. Pigs are smarter? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, right. Any luck? Still no sign of him in the pasture. Oh. You look tired. I am. Didn't sleep too well last night. My daddy's driving around the neighborhood in the horse van looking for Aztec. And your folks have alerted the sheriff and the police and the animal control people. We've done everything we can, Bailey. I pushed him too hard. That's why he ran away. Hey, what happened? It's Aztec. He ran away yesterday afternoon. Oh, no. Bailey, I'm so sorry. So, how did it go at Stanhope? Tell you later. Let's just concentrate on Aztec for now. We have to search a wider area. I say we mount up, divide into teams, and search the whole countryside. Between us and the adults, someone's bound to find him. Great! Sounds good. Good idea. I forgot. I don't have a horse. You can ride Scarlet. I'll stay here in case there's any news. Thanks, Sarah. Let's saddle up, you guys. Gotta be something better than this to eat around here. Man, this freedom business is hard work. I've been walking for hours. Well, look at that. <coughs> Hi there. I said hello. How you doing? Hey, you're new. Yeah. I sure am. Name's Aztec. Hi, Aztec. I'm Mesa. Nice to meet you, Mesa. So, Aztec, where are you from? I can tell you're not from around here. Nope. Do you have a herd of your own back where you come from? Sort of. Hey, anything good to eat around here? Oh, sure. There's tall grass and wild oats and all sorts of good stuff. Of course, you gotta know where to look these days. Because there's not as much as there used to be. Uh-oh, Aztec. <coughs> what do you want? You're not one of us. You're not welcome here. No, Chaco. It's okay. He's nice. You go back to your mother, young one. I'll deal with this. <coughs> Move on, stranger. There's not enough food to go around as it is. Fine. Whatever. I'm going. Bye, Mesa. Tech. Hi, boy. It's okay. I'm your friend. Good boy. You know, don't you? You know where Aztec went. Because that's where you'd go. <laughs> Hello? Mom? Don't come. I'm sorry, but I've changed my mind. I don't want to go. Mom, can we talk about this later? I'll explain everything. Let's just say I wouldn't fit in. I really am sorry. Bye. I'm glad that's over. Let's see if we can take this a step further. What do you say? Aztec! Hey, Aztec! I 
I've come to show you where to find the good food. Mesa, you shouldn't be here. You better go back. Thanks, Chaco. But where's Mesa? Oh, there you are, little buddy. You're okay then. Good. Thanks to you. It seems that we all owe you our gratitude for saving our little Mesa. And I also owe you an apology. And, uh, also, we... I mean, I would like you to join our herd. Wow. As long as you remember I'm the boss horse, of course. Will you stay? Please. Well, I, uh... What if we never find him? We will. What if he gets hurt? He won't. What if Bailey will? Sarah? You're on Puma. Yep. He totally trusts you. Puma and I think we know just where to look. Aztec, it is time to decide. Will you join us? I'm sorry. I can't. I mean, thanks for asking me. It was really nice of all of you, especially you, Mesa. It's great out here on the open range. Well, kinda, but I miss my old life and my old friends. I understand. Goodbye, Aztec. Thanks again, Aztec. It was great meeting you, Mesa. But listen, we lucked out today. Bears are fast and fierce. You need to stay with your herd from now on, okay? I will. I promise. So long! Now if I can just figure out how to get home. What makes you so sure Aztec would come out here where the wild mustangs live? Because that's where the food is. This seems like a wild goose chase to me. Why don't we... Huh? Aztec! Well, Puma? Tempted to take off? Join your old herd? Live a life of freedom again? No. It's fun to run wild and be your own boss. But it's a lot more fun to have plenty to eat. And you know what? Humans are a lot nicer than I thought they'd be. Yeah, they are. There you go, boy. How's that feel? You're doing great! And filling out, too. The food must agree with you, buddy. <laughs> Gonna give that saddle a try, Sarah? What you say, Puma? It's okay, boy. <laughs> You're doing great. Hey, Sarah, you never told us. How'd it go at Stanhope? 
Yeah, what happened? Are you in? You know, I didn't like it there as much as I thought. Everybody was so competitive. All they cared about was winning. And they weren't very nice to their horses either. So, I explained how I felt to my parents and we turned Stanhope down. I'm staying here, where we all like horses. And each other. Wow! Good practice, Aztec. Boy, am I glad to have you back. You know what? That's enough for today. Let's not overdo it. Aztec, what is it? You want to do it again? Okay, boy. You're the boss. Can you even imagine Horseland without Aztec and Sela? Nope. I can't imagine Horseland without them. I can. <gasps> Agora, you don't mean that. If you ask me, they should get rid of all the horses and the humans and call this place Catland. Catland? But then I'd have to leave too. I take back what I said before. You pigs are pretty smart after all. Yep, everything is back to normal at Horseland.